Sea of Thieves' latest adventure has seen players battle it out to either rebuild Golden Sands or burn it to the ground. And in this video, I wanted to talk about the possibilities each side could bring us and what we could see in future updates as a result of the ongoing conflict. And yes, I am Team Reaper. Before we get into the video, make sure to join 600 members in the Mystic Hideout Discord server to speak with other members of this amazing community. If you'd like to join the tavern along with so many others, visit the link in the description. Finally, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, it's completely free and I would love to reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers so each and every one of you can help by subscribing, liking, commenting and sharing the channel with your friends and family. Currently we are sitting around 51% in favour of rebuilding Golden Sands, so I think it'd be best that we talk about the possibilities that could follow the victory of Merrick. Honestly, I don't think Golden Sands will go back to being an outpost that functions like the rest of the outposts regardless of the outcome, and I would really welcome some sort of pirate village being built on Golden Sands. And I will be making a future video on how villages could function within Sea of Thieves, so stay tuned for that. However, I don't think Rare would hype up the season finale, let's not forget, and for then Golden Sands to win and it just return to normal, how it was before the adventure started. I don't think that makes much sense at all, and in terms of new content and replayability, it's such a wasted opportunity to have weeks of content lead up to just returning an outpost to normal, with no real effect on the world which Rare had mentioned in their release of adventures. I think we could see new types of buildings and NPCs to resemble the fact that a lot of people came together to rebuild Golden Sands and repair it, creating a fortress for pirates to fight against the flame. Almost like a complete counter to the Reaper's hideout, which is pretty close to Golden Sands. This would create further story elements and new characters to interact with, and I know it seems a long shot, but perhaps some more quests and factions within the Sea of Thieves. Again, it's going back to that point where I really highly doubt that after all of this work and storytelling, the only thing we are going to get if Golden Sands wins is just Golden Sands. Perhaps new world events, voyages and more, or maybe just a new fish to catch. Less said about that one, the better. Moving on to what I think is by far the best outcome, the Reapers. There is so much possibility of Reapers win. Things like new Phantom World events where you could defend Golden Sands from incoming attacks from the Pirate Lord, a new Phantom Fortress where they would send out Phantom ships across the seas. I think it would be cool to have another function in Reaper's Hideout that functions slightly different where you cannot sell absolutely everything there, but if you do obtain Phantom Loot and return it to the Phantoms on the island, you are given an increased reward. I think having this stretch of evil on the seas and being closer to opening up that secret chamber below Reaper's hideout and meeting Captain Flameheart in the flesh, well, bones, would be such a cool thing and I don't understand why you'd want to hold that. I also think it's entirely possible that we could see Phantom Fleets return to the Sea of Thieves, but now Flameheart has a body, kind of. I don't think they would be commanded in the same way as seen before with his big head in the sky and I don't think it will be up against the burning blade but maybe one of his disciple ships. A victory for the reapers would see further changes to the rest of the seas as well taking command of more areas as they would have a new port to supply up and plot future events which we would have to stop. Now I don't want the sea of thieves to turn further into a complete pve fest with more phantoms seen around the world but I would like to see the position of the Dark Brethren in all of this, which is something we haven't seen in a long time. And honestly, Flameheart winning this small war would induce a rebuttal from them. And maybe we would see the return of Davy Jones and his companions. After all, I always like the idea of having the final Pirate's Life Tooltale be a super cool world event. Where we fight the Flying Dutchman. And again, this is a pretty long shot. Overall, having a twisted outpost is a very cool concept, and in my opinion, I really look forward to finding out the results tomorrow. Let me know your thoughts on what could happen in the comments below. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out the other videos on my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.